Hey, this is AJ. Welcome back to the Handyman Process. In today's video, we're going to be doing lesson six of the Simple Path to Handyman, and we're going to be talking about uh, banking. So I'm going to kind of go over some basic overviews of, of why you do, why you have a business bank set up, some of the basic fundamentals of it. Then I'm going to open up my bank account, my Novo bank account. And I'm going to kind of show you how I manage the money. So stay tuned. So first, let's talk about why it's important to separate your business and personal finances. Number one, for tax purposes. Uh, keeping your business and your personal finances separate makes tax and, you know, kind of a breeze, not, not a breeze, but it makes it much easier uh, for you and for your accountant to track the income, expenses, deductions, and so on and so on. I have an extensive playlist on how I manage my taxes, what I do with that. Uh, if you're not comfortable with that, you know, by all means, reach out, get a, a book pe bookkeeper in place uh, and an accountant uh, kind of on your team. The second piece is some legal protection uh, in case of any legal issues. Uh, the first thing they're going to dig into is, you know, where are you getting the money from? And if, it, if they find out you're using personal money for business purposes, then your personal accounts become basically wide open for um, you basically lose legal protection uh, in, in that particular case. So having that separate saying, I only use my my business money for my business and my personal money for my personal stuff kind of keeps those money areas separate and gives you a little bit of legal protections. And finally, uh, you know, financial overview, where are you sitting at with your money? Do you know what your numbers are showing? Do you know what it means for you? Or are you tracking that kind of stuff? Uh, so those are the basic reasons of why you'd want to do it. And then getting into the reasons of choosing the right bank account. Um, so here's a couple of topics here. And, and I'm just using Gemini, uh, Google AI to kind of um, give me a basic script for this to kind of keep me on track. And then you have something to reference. But uh, I only use, in, in my particular case, I only use a, a business checking account. Uh, and I use that through an app called Novo, which I'm going to demonstrate here uh, in a minute. In terms of a business savings account, um, I don't generally keep a lot of money in my business account. And you'll see that when I open up Novo. Uh, what I do is I take my, whenever I need to take money out, I send it uh, to my personal account uh, where I have a high uh, interest uh, account. I'm, I'm getting um, something in the neighborhood of 5, 5.5%. So I, I keep a lot of my money there. If I need to make a big business purchase, then I'll just move the money back from personal back into business to, to make that purchase. Um, and then, you know, it talks about here having high yield savings accounts and, and whatnot. There prob probably are certain accounts that you can get in the business world that give you that high yield. Uh, I just choose not to do that. And then secondly, um, in terms of categorizing your transactions, you know, where's your income coming from? How are you labeling that? What are your expenses? How are you categorizing that? Uh, we won't get into tracking mileage in this one, uh, but we will talk a little bit about tax preparation, financial analysis, uh, so on and so on. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open up Novo and jump into that. Okay. So I'm opening up Novo right now. And Novo is the app that I use to manage the money for my business. I have uh, several videos on this. It's just what I use, what I recommend. I like it. Uh, so if you're interested in that, I'll, I'll put a, um, a link down in the bottom. You can check it out. But a, but a quick overview. Uh, first of all, setting up Novo is very straightforward. Somewhere down here, if I scroll down here, I have a refer a business link that is the link that I'll put down in the bottom. Uh, but this is an easy, simple business bank account to set up. And I say that having set up separate bank accounts at uh, credit unions and, and other places, which weren't as simple as, as setting up Novo. So all you really need to know is, you know, who are you doing business as? If you're a sole proprietor or an LLC operating as a sole proprietor, I think they'll just ask you for a social security number and then boom, you're, you're kind of in business. So very straightforward and very simple to set up. Um, before I get into the transactions, I'll show you one other reason that I love Novo is this little reserves area down here. So if I click on the reserve area and I open it up, it shows you that I've had uh, three different areas of reserves set up and I, I do this loosely following something called the profit first system. Uh, the profit first system is just a way of, of managing and categorizing your money into different buckets. Uh, so what I do is you see these different categories, operating expenses, owner compensation, and taxes, 30%, uh, 60%, 10% of all deposits. So what that means is I've, I've come in here and I've um, labeled these reserves with these, these names, operating expenses, owner comp, and taxes. And I've said that for every dollar that comes in, 
send 30% of that to operating expenses, 60% to owner comp and 10% to taxes. You can name the categories however you want and you can set the percentages however you want. This is just the way that I like to do that. So in this case, if I get paid a dollar, 30 cents goes operating expenses, 60, 60 cents goes owner compensation and 10% goes to taxes automatically, which is great because at any given moment, I can roughly see how much money I have in the operating expenses bucket. In this case, 24 hours, not a whole lot, right? Uh, how much money I have in owner compensation. I have 650 bucks that I could pull out and pay myself if I wanted to. Uh, and then taxes of $117. So I periodically go in and I pull money out of the, these accounts for the, for the various things. And I'll, now I'm gonna kind of jump in and give you an explanation of how I do that. Okay, so if we go back to my main dashboard, you'll see I have a whopping $719 of money in my account right now. Now if I come down here and I click on the activity tab here, uh, it'll show you, I'm gonna just hit a few buttons here. Uh, it's going to show you, let's go year to date. So year to date, it's going to show you here what money has been coming in green, what money has been going out black. This is all happening automatically by the way that I that I categorize and, and uh, all my transactions. So if money came in, it's green. If money went out, it went black. Then I can dive a little further into those things. So you can see, you know, what do I have income this year? Eleven eleven thousand dollars. Uh, spending uh, roughly eleven thousand dollars, and when it says spending, this this includes me taking money out to pay myself. Um, so, um, as a part-time guy, like I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to hit a hundred thousand dollars in any particular year. You know, I'm maybe like thirty thousand, forty thousand is what I'm shooting for. And I generally take the summers off. That's why you know it's kind of been flat. I took a lot of money out. Maybe I made a little bit of money uh, here and there, but. Uh, you know, the, the magnitude of the numbers is going to be different for everybody who's, who's operating a system like this. Uh, but just a quick overview that you can quickly kind of go in there, see where your money is going in and out. You can go back and you can click on the transactions to see specifically where you're spending the money. But let's get into the meat of it. Uh, why do I do this and why do I like it? So if I go back to my dashboard, you'll see my most recent transactions, right? So Inc. File, $119, Marcape. Uh, so let's just open up one of the transactions, Ink File, for example. Uh, so this this just posted a, a um, short time ago, and what this is is this is a legal fee that I pay every year for my LLC for them to be um, a, what, what's called a registered agent for my business. So when that transaction hits, I can come hit on this um, Pay for Reserve button right here, and if I click on that Pay for Reserve button, it's going to give me a choice based on how much money I have in my different reserve accounts. And I've already categorized this as, a, as an operating expense. So that's why it's dropped it down to $24 uh, kind of down here. Uh, so that's the first thing I do. Uh, some of the other information is automatically posted in there, like the date that it was posted, the location, the, the debit card that I used. But this this other area here, this, this uh, category is really what's going to save you a lot of time and hassle in the future. So as I select that category button, what happens is it gives me a bunch of different choices here that I can choose uh, to categorize that transaction as, and you can make some of this stuff automatic. This is great when it comes to keeping track of where your money's going, what categories, but more importantly, from a tax perspective at the end of the year, what's going on. So I know for this particular one, it's going to be uh, professional services. So I just type in that professional services. Um, I could say all transactions that come from Ink file, so it'll automatically do that. And then another cool feature down here is I scroll down to the bottom. I had this invoice, uh, add invoice receipt button and allows me to check it from different areas or uh, add it from different areas. It could be Google Drive, it could be a Dropbox, it could be, it'd be whatnot. You know, if I hit the plus button, I can upload it for photos, which is generally what I do. But you'll see that I've already uploaded one. So when I click on the little drop down box here, you will see that the um, receipt that I received the other day, I just screenshotted it, put it in here. Now I have a full um, auditable transaction history, right? I know I spent $119, I know where it went, I have the date stamp and I have the receipt kind of all in one place. And this is another example, if I open up Marcade, I don't think I've gotten to this one yet, right? Uh, so I generally do this as they come in, but sometimes you know it'll be a day or two and I'll just come back here, right? So it's a blank slate. So it's gonna ask me to pay from reserve. It's gonna say, what do you wanna pay from? Now, I don't have money left in my operating expense, which is where I would normally do this from. Uh, so I have a couple options. I can go back into my reserves and I can transfer money from this owner compensation back into operating expenses. Or in this case, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hit it against my uh, owner compensation. 
I'm going to assign a transaction to that. Uh, I consider Marquette, um, I, I usually categorize all this stuff in my home office. It just makes my taxes easier at the end of the year. So I have that. Um, I can also add notes in here. I could just say you know, Marquette um, monthly fee. And now it keeps that as a note. Uh, which is great. Uh, I don't generally add uh, receipts for this because I, I, I know I can log into Marquette at any time and pull down a report. Uh, so that one's pretty straightforward. And you'll see as I'm doing this, my available balance is dropping down. The amount of money that I have in my reserve accounts, um, as I scroll back down here, uh, my owner compensation number here has just dropped by the amount that I uh, book, bookmarked against uh, Marquette. And then you'll see I still have uh, $12.75 of transactions is probably a combination of some of these things. Uh, this eBay account, which uh, same type of thing. I'll just go in here. I'll mark it against operating expenses. Uh, this is it's actually a book, but I'm just going to bookmark that in home office. And so I just come in here, office expenses, home office. Uh, I'll just say this is a, a biz book. And I'll go ahead and put the receipt in later because you guys don't want to see my family pictures. Uh, but now the available balance has gone down. I have a few more transactions. Uh, if I go back to all my activity, you'll, you'll kind of see what's going on. Um, so that's basically how I track the transactions um, or the expenses as they're going on. Uh, then you'll see if it's, if it's a black number here, uh, it's money going out. And if it's a green number, it's money coming in. So you'll see I have a couple of transactions here. I open up one Square account. So I did a job the other day uh, and I did the same thing. I came in here, the categories change when money is coming in. So it could be an equity transaction or it could be a revenue. In this case, it was sales. Uh, so it was a sale. I come in here, I look at my Marquette system. I say, okay, this was invoice 282. I just make a note of that. Uh, the same thing, if I wanted to, I can come down here, hit the plus button. I could add a copy of that invoice. But since I use Marquette, I have all my invoices in one place. Uh, I don't do that. And sometimes, I'll give another example here. I had $528 come in. And the way that Square works is sometimes it bundles a couple of invoices together and it pays you in one spot. An example of that here is this was for inv invoice 283 and 284. So I just make note of that. Um, and within my Square system, I can dive a little further into these invoices and the same thing on the Marquette side. But this is a great way that I use to manage my money. Um, it's just an easy, simple interface that I found to be able to kind of see where I'm at in any given minute. Uh, I know that I have $719 available in this account. Um, and let me make one more point. I, I mentioned that the reason my numbers are low is that I'm pulling money out. Uh, and I saw an example here. Uh, yeah, wealth front, uh, wealth front checking. Uh, so I needed to pull money out the other day, and I use wealth front uh, for the majority of, of my personal money. Uh, so I just take money out as I need it. I took one hundred thirty three dollars out the other day, uh, and if I scroll down, and you'll see more wealth, wealth front uh, distributions. Uh, so that's kind of how I take money out and pay myself. I also have a video on that if you're if you're interested in that. Uh, click through my channel and, and see that video. But it works out great for me. I love it, um, and there's a bunch of more features in here too. If you're if you're not using a Marquette or some other type of system right now, you you have the ability to invoice straight out of here. So what I'm doing is I, I just touched on the more tab and I can come over here to this invoices button and I can create invoices directly here and I can charge my customers directly from this app, uh, which is great. It's a little bit more manual. It's not as smooth and uh, as, as Marquette and some of the other systems, but if you're just starting out or maybe you're just doing big jobs, uh, you could totally use that feature. In addition, there's other features in here as well. There's some funding. Um, they're starting to offer credit cards, uh, which I don't use through Novo. I do I do some travel hacking uh, stuff, but that's something that uh, you might be interested in checking out. In addition, if I click on the apps over here, there's some more apps and integrations that you can add in here. Uh, you'll see you can connect it to QuickBooks and some payroll providers and some other types of things. So. I'd recommend kind of digging around in there and checking it out. Uh, one of the great things about their referral program is that if I refer you, uh, you'll get $40 in your account and I will get $40 in my account. It's one of the best referral uh, programs out there. And it's kind of a win-win, right? You get $40, I get $40. And then uh, as you start to use it and you start to refer it, you can do the same thing to, to other folks. 
And I wouldn't say this if I didn't absolutely love it and use it every day, which is uh, kind of what I do. So hopefully it's useful to you and hopefully you like it. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you got something out of this video. The most important things to take away are keeping your money separate, categorizing where you're spending your money, both income and expenses, uh, and then just tracking it over the time to see you know where you're going with your money. Uh, so if you enjoy this kind of content, uh, it, it helps if you let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. I know I'm making stuff that you want to hear or dropping a comment down below if there's something more you want me to dig into. So I appreciate your time. Stay tuned as I continue this series and put out more videos. Thanks. Have a great day.